Hello children. Today in this video we are going to learn about the respiration in plants. This is for the class 7 ICC board and it is available in chapter 6. Okay, let's see the topic uh, outline uh, that uh, which we are going to cover after completing this video. Okay, first one what is respiration and uh, types of respiration, difference between respiration and combustion and the types of respiration in plants, difference between respiration and photosynthesis and the difference between respiration in animals and plants. Okay. So, here we can see what is respiration. So, see this picture. This is glucose. Okay. Then now the glucose is going to break down. So, at the time of breaking down, there, uh, there is some energy is created. So, this is one kind of process and this process is called respiration. Okay. See here, the process of breaking down of glucose to release energy is called respiration. Okay, this energy is in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So, this is the equation for uh, the respiration process. That is, the glucose plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide plus water and energy. So, total 38 molecules can produce us by the oxidation of one molecule. Okay, then the, we have two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. First, we will see that aerobic respiration. What is aerobic respiration? This is the oxidation process. Okay, so this oxidation process is available in the presence of oxygen means aerobic respiration. That is the glucose, that is the equation. Glucose plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. That is 38 molecules released from the oxidation of one glucose molecule. Then anaerobic respiration. When the oxidation takes place in the absence of oxygen, it is called anaerobic respiration. In this process, glucose is not completely oxidized to form the carbon dioxide and water. Here, this is the equation that is glucose. In the absence of oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide plus ethyl alcohol plus energy that is 2 ATP. Oxidation of glucose by the absence of cold is anaerobic respiration. And in the absence, this is the formula. In the absence of oxygen, glucose gives carbon dioxide plus ethyl alcohol plus energy that is 2 ATP molecules released from the oxidation of glucose molecules. Then, differences between respiration and combustion. First point, this respiration occurs in the living cells and the combustion does not occur in the living cells. Okay. Then, second one, it takes place at the room temperature. That is, the process of respiration takes place in the room temperature and the combustion takes place in the high, very high temperature. Okay. And the process, uh, respiration process is very slow and the combustion process is very fast. Enzymes involved in the uh, respiration process and uh, in the combustion process there is no enzymes involved. Then the energy released in several steps and uh, stored as ATP and in combustion energy released in the form of heat and light. Okay. Then the conversion of carbohydrates in respiration is carbon dioxide and water in many steps. It is the conversion of carbohydrates to carbon dioxide and water occurs in many steps in the respiration process. But in combustion, carbon dioxide and water are produced in one step, one single step. Okay. Then the types of respiration in plants. We have three types that is Respiration through leaves, respiration through stems, and respiration through roots. Next, we can see the respiration through leaves. Leaves and young leaf stems have pores within that. So, these pores are called stomata. The singular of this stomata is called stoma. Let's see the respiration through leaves. Okay, the leaves and young green stems have pores on them. 
These pores are called stomata and the singular form of stomata is stoma. In the lower surface of the leaves, they have more number of stomata. Oxygen and water vapor leave the plant through the stomata while carbon dioxide enter into them. That is, the, if the carbon dioxide entered into the leaf, the oxygen and water vapor leave the plant uh, through the stomata only. So, each stoma has two bean shaped cells. That is, the guard cells. See here, there is two bean shaped cells. This is the cell. Um, the two bean shaped cells. That is the guard cells. So, this one is stoma, open stoma and this is the closed stoma. Okay. See here, this is the inner wall and this is the outer wall. This is two bean shaped cells. This is the walls. The dark green area is the walls. The inner wall and the outer wall. Uh, we can see that the inner wall is very thicker than this outer wall. When this gut cell is full of water, then it will be swell and bulge. That will cause the opening of stoma. See here, this is open stoma and this is the closed stoma. Here, the water, water is available and the, here, the water level is very low and here, the water level is high. Okay. Next, respiration through stems. We know that the certain trees, uh, that is the old and mature roots and hard woody stems are covered by bark. That is, hard woody stems are covered by the box, which is impervious to gases or water. However, within the layer of the bark, there are very tiny openings called lenticels. Next, we can see the respiration through stems. We know in some trees, that is the old and mature roots, and hard, hard woody stems are covered by box. We can see in this picture, there is, this is the very old tree. In this outer surface, we can see the box on the tree. Then in, we can see the next picture, there is some slots are there. So, this is called lenticles. How the, within the layer of the bark, See, this is the bark and this is the lenticles. Within this layer of the bark, we can see the lenticles. These are the very tiny openings. Okay, these enable the oxygen to reach the intercellular spaces of interior tissues and carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere. So, lenticles are visible slightly more raised on the general surface of the stem. So, this is the stem. There is the slightly, this is the raised portion. Some slots are there. It is the raised area of the surface. These lenticles are visible slightly more raised than the general surface of the stem. And uh, these lenticles are available. Uh, we can see these lenticles in some fruits. Uh, that is uh, quite noticeable on apples and pears also. Then the respiration through roots. Here the respiration also takes place through the roots and the uh, roots of the plants. The air is present in the space between the soil particles. We can see in the sand some uh, loosely for uh, loosely sands. Sorry, respiration. Next part, respiration through roots. This uh, respiration of the plants uh, takes place also takes place through the roots. The air is present in the spaces between some plants that are growing the salty water. They have some specialized roots called nematophores. That is, the roots are growing out of the surface of water. The nematophores have many pores on their surface. Then the difference between respiration and photosynthesis. In animals, there is only one kind of exchange of gases. Oxygen is taken and the carbon dioxide given out. That is the process of respiration. The oxygen, it, the animals intake the oxygen and exhale the carbon dioxide. But it is not available on the plants. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in plants takes by two processes, photosynthesis and respiration. 
in uh, both photosynthesis and cellular respiration are biochemical process the po photosynthesis takes place in the day time and respiration takes place in the night time during the time of photosynthesis the carbon dioxide is taken and the oxygen is given out and the glucose is formed so in the result of photosynthesis the oxygen is given out and the carbon dioxide is taken by the plants during the respiration oxygen is used by the cells and carbon dioxide is given out the energy is released in the form of atp the carbon dioxide is given out as a result of respiration is used by the plants for photosynthesis during the day so in this photosynthesis food is synthesized by the plants using carbon dioxide and water and for in respiration food oxide using oxygen to release the energy this is taken autotrophs this respiration takes place both autotrophs and hydro heterotrophs the photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide and water and uh, respiration requires glucose and oxygen only oxygen released by as a by product in the process of photosynthesis and in respiration carbon dioxide and water released by the as a by products then photosynthesis it capture energy and stores in it in the sugar and in respiration they it release the energy stored in sugar the photosynthesis takes place during day time and the respiration takes place during the night time then the difference between respiration animals and plants that is the respiration of animals and plants in the respiration of plants it the it takes oxygen through stomata lenticles and roots in the the respiration of animals uh, it takes oxygen through lungs then in respiration in plants carbon dioxide is released as a by product in the process of reabsorbed food food photosynthesis and in respiration of animals carbon dioxide is released as a by product in the process and not taken back in the animals in the category of animals so in uh, respiration in plants glucose and oxygen used for respiration are produced by them the here in animals food and oxygen used for respiration are taken from outside only and in respiration in plants rate of respiration is slow here for animals rate of respiration is very fast okay children that's all the lesson respiration of plants for so the next lesson we can meet in another video thank you for watching